In previous tutorial videos, we have gone over how to use truncation and synonyms to expand your search, but there are a few additional ways to make your search more comprehensive in Web of Science. Our current search history only has results with pet therapy and our selected synonyms in the exact order that they are written. To further refine our search, we can use a proximity operator, also known as an adjacency operator, to specify how close one search term can be to another. This can account for different sentence structures and ways of wording pet therapy, such as a pet who provides therapy. Web of Science uses the near proximity operator to specify how far apart terms should be. For example, pet near slash three therapy will limit your results to records that have the terms pet and therapy within three words from one another in either direction. If no number is specified, the default is 15 words. So this will give you around 3,400 results. And that's a great start, but we can improve this search further. So navigating back to the advanced search query builder and making sure to clear any history that we have in the query preview box I'm going to select the topic field from the drop down field menu. And now I'm going to use parentheses to group my concept synonyms. So if I group the synonyms pet or animal using parentheses, they will be found first. And then those results will be combined with the word therapy. So this search string will show results that have the terms pet or animal within three words of therapy in either direction. To improve this search even further, I can add emotional support as a synonym for therapy. So to do that, I'm gonna add another set of parentheses and then add emotional support and since it's a multi-term phrase, I am putting quotation marks around it. And then I'm going to make sure to close off that bracket. And then hit search. This search string will give you 11,222 results. So these text word search tips are extremely helpful, but require practice to get right. If you have any questions or need support in conducting a comprehensive search, please feel free to email ask.gerstein at utoronto.ca.